guys and welcome back to my channel it's Vanessa here in the flesh and I'm here to give you guys a brand new video today's video is a little bit different because I'm going to be focused on the tech part of my channel I've been doing YouTube for a few years now and it has been a trial and error process and figuring out the type of equipment that I like the editing software that I like to use and I thought it was really really important to share you with you guys my filming setup it's very budget friendly it did take me a long time to build it I'm not gonna front because YouTube is not a cheap career but it's something that I really invested in and I really love so much so if you're interested in seeing my filming setup and a few tips and tricks that I use to build my platform go ahead and just keep watching don't forget to thumbs up this video and stay tuned to the end of the video to learn a few tips and tricks to grow your channel instantly so yeah let's go ahead and get started so when I first started my channel this is the camera that I used this is a Sony a5000 I got it from Best Buy and this is a really great beginner camera it's still sold in Best Buy and I'll also leave it in the description box below so up until about I want to say six months ago I was using this camera it has like a smoothing effect in the camera so the picture quality and the video quality is really really nice if you're looking for a camera that is super lightweight it can be used as a vlogging camera it also has a flip up screen which i think is really nice for you to be able to kind of vlog yourself you can access the footage from the camera to the phone so you're able to take your pictures and also view your content on your phone which is really really great so you can have really really nice instagram pictures as well after having this camera for about a year or so I dropped this camera and sometimes when you drop these cameras they're really really easy to break but really and truly when whenever you drop any type of camera they are really easy to break so you want to be careful but um, the original lens that does go with this camera broke on me so I knew I wanted to upgrade my quality I knew that I really love the Sony cameras I bought this lens right here this is a Sony FE 1.8 50 millimeter lens. It's a beautiful lens, but it doesn't have that autofocus element in it. So you would have to literally sit in front of your subject and don't move in order to record. And that can be difficult if you're recording on your own. The camera that I am filming on today is a camera that I went ahead and picked up at my local pawn shop. And this is the Canon T6i. Very great camera. I like it because it gives me the ability to autofocus. It has the blurring background capability to it and the quality of it is just amazing. You can also adjust the picture quality. You can adjust the detail, the sharpness, the brightness. For example, I'll show you. So right now I have you guys at an 800 ISO, which is pretty bright, but if I want to, I could take it up a notch if I'm in a low light setting. But for now, I'm going to keep it at 800 because, again, it gives me the most natural looking setup. The lens that I have is the cheapest lens offered by Canon, and it is the 50 millimeter lens by Canon. And it is absolutely beautiful. It is a very close up lens. The space around me is very close because the lens is very closed in. For videos like mine where I do a lot of tutorials, a lot of eyeshadow close ups, a lot of face portrait pictures, this lens is like ideal for me. I do recommend this camera, especially if you are a beginner if I could have I would have bought the Canon T6i first before I went ahead and purchased this but this is a really great vlogging camera if you're not vlogging on your phone because you know phones have just elevated especially the iPhone I also use my phone the quality of the video and pictures is unmatched and I feel like if you are a beginner and you are a person who has a high-tech phone meaning an iPhone an iPhone 10 or better you can easily start your channel using one of these things because one they're easiest to film with you already know how to use your iPhone two it offers the iMovie app that you can actually go ahead and edit your videos on and that's something that I already use to edit my videos it eliminates the camera it eliminates the computer it eliminates the software you need on the computer because it's already here jam-packed on your phone it has that 4k capability 
that no other phone has. So my setup is pretty old. I'm actually using the setup that I originally bought when I first started my channel. And what I am using is two soft boxes. They usually do have the cover on them. I took the covers off and I replaced them with very white lights just to give me that white effect. Those two softbox lights came in a combo. I'll link it in the description box below. Very, very affordable. And I also have a stellar ring light, which I bought off Amazon. I'll link all of these things down below. So you always want to have two lights directly on the side of you to offer light on both sides of your face. And you also want to have a light in front of you right around your camera just to give your face that fully lit illumination. Now I've talked about lights in front of you but you also have to mention the lights behind you. It's very important to have something lit up behind you because it automatically lights up your videos. I have a window right there that's actually open and usually you know film in front of the window but I also like studio lighting. So the lighting from the back offers light to my backdrop and I have my vanity light on as well as this nightstand lamp in the back just to give you guys a little bit more light. Brightness is everything when you're recording your videos. You want them to be crispy and bright and working with what you have is what I learned on YouTube like. You can really use what you have to get the lighting you desire. You also want to have a room that is light. My apartments are brown. Cool, whatever. I went ahead and added some white strips on the walls just to lighten up the room. And I do have a video how I added these strips on my wall. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a card up top. And I'll leave a link in the description box below so you guys can check that out because it was super duper easy to do. So that's pretty much my lighting setup. Again, I'll link all of the things that I've discussed so far in this video down below so you guys can jumpstart your career in YouTube today. The next thing I want to talk about is what I actually use to edit my videos. So what I like to use is a program called iMovie, a video editing software that allows you to take your SD card from your camera and put it into your laptop and it automatically allows you to edit your videos. Another important piece that you must have a part of your setup is an actual microphone. So what I like to do, and as you guys can see, is record myself using my phone. On the iPhones, they do offer a voice recording option that allows you to talk. And while I'm doing that, I'm recording myself and I'm going to actually take this recording off of my phone and I'm going to put it on my computer so that I can edit it on my iMovie software and my video audio will be better. This is the most affordable option to me because it actually is a really good recorder. If you've been watching my channel recently, I've been kind of playing around with microphone mics and they're really a struggle. So you kind of want to spend a little money if you're going to be investing in a microphone because they are a little difficult to find. For now, I do just use my phone to record myself and upload it to my videos. Your iPhone actually does offer iMovie on your phone already so you don't even have to go ahead and download it because it's already there. It's super, It's a super easy way to edit videos and export them to YouTube. It's super easy. I do recommend if you have an iPhone that's how you need to be editing your videos to get started and it's really self-explanatory once you start using it you'll feel like an expert and then boom you'll be starting to make videos just like me when starting your channel the only thing that i can advise you is go ahead and start it doesn't matter what you have one of the things that built my channel in the beginning is constantly putting out videos and believing in yourself so one thing i do is use my social media pages to promote myself Primarily on Instagram, they have a whole bunch of different options that you can use, whether it's a story, whether it's a post, whether it's IGTV. Make sure you join a bunch of Facebook groups that are for small creators, small YouTubers, because a lot of people on there are trying to do the same things, which is build their platforms. And that's one way I got a lot of engagement from people who are just like me, who like to watch content, who like to create content. I'll link some of the Facebook groups down below. So if you're interested in starting your channel, or if you've just started your channel and you really want to meet other creators like yourself, go ahead and click that link in my description. I'll leave, again, some Facebook groups for you to join. You wanna make sure that you're checking out other creators in your community. For example, if you find somebody who is 
very very new to youtube go to their page subscribe to their channels comment on their videos start engaging with other people to create that community that you want to create but that's pretty much all i did to kind of start growing my channel and yes i'm still a small creator but I always feel like it's important to share the things that I've learned along my journey because I know it will help somebody out there who is looking to start their own channels as well. People can give you a million tips, a million tricks, a million things that you can do, but you as an individual can do it if you literally start. This quarantine is like the best time ever to just go ahead and start your channel. There's no excuse, ladies and gents. You can do it. If I can do it, let me tell you. If I can do it, so can you, okay? And it has been a very liberating experience. I feel in complete control over what I do outside of being a real life adult out here dealing with the problems of the world. YouTube has been my place of solace where I can just be myself and create content for people who actually care about what I have to say. And I really do believe that you can do it too. All you gotta do is start, okay? So if you haven't already, pick up your camera, start recording yourself, playing with iMovie on your phone, and get started on your YouTube channel. You can do it. I'm here to tell you, you can do it. So if you really enjoyed this video, if you did learn something, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Get it. Get it.